Hi guys, today I am going to teach you how to make Scratch Night. So here's a little preview of my game talk. So you can change what um, you're doing, what your thing is, so what your mode is, and then there's a play button and all that stuff. I haven't added the levels yet, so I'm going to teach you how to make this. So first you're going to make two backdrops, one called Logo, then you're going to use whatever font you want. I'm using this font. I know it looks like it's um, weird in Japanese, but it actually just comes out as this. And then you're just going to type whatever you want your game name to be and fill it with a blue background. Then there's the lobby, which it can have as many of these as you want and it can be whatever colors you want. And then you're going to make a clip to continue sprite just like this one with a blue background, the same color as that background. And then this is the code for it. So in play clicked show, so you drag it when play clicked and then show. And when this sprite is clicked, drag that and then a hide button and then broadcast startup, start up, start game, whatever you want. And then you're going to want um, a play, a when I receive startup on this one, switch backdrop to lobby and when play click switch backdrop to logo. So then when you ha you're gonna make a character and it's mine looks like this and you can make it however you want. And then I have one skin called Sinister. And then I have this button play, it can be whatever colors you want again. And then when the sprite is clicked hide, when play click hide and all that stuff. And all the broadcasts and stuff like that and then this is the mode button yeah, it should have stole solo duos trios and squads then when play click tied switch to costume to solo when is this price click next costume when i receive startup show okay so once you have all of that done which i will get i will you can find my project it is shared i'm going to name it fortnite two Tutorial. Okay. And then that was just my dad, sorry. And then it's Fortnite tutorial. I will actually wait back. I'm gonna show you how to do this. So go into scratch maybe you then do Cleaners, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. These are all my stuff. I've made a bunch of products. And these aren't the only ones I've done. So if you want links to this, you can literally just search my profile name, which I will leave in the comments. But it won't come up until I do it enough more, so you're going to have to wait a little. And you may have to check in my trending thing. Because it may be in trending. I have made a lot of games. And these aren't the only one I share. So this is what you can do. So I'm going to, in my instructions, click to click the click to continue sprite to start game and then to change mode by blah 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 but let's start okay so i'm go right now i'm gonna add the map so we're not gonna like make make your sprite hide because you don't want to see this ugly map because it's gonna be really really gross in the making because it's gonna be hard Okay, so we're going to make the first square. So it's going to be like a weird tide, I think. Well, not really. but So we're going to do green. Do a, yeah, like green. And then actually make it a little darker so it looks more natural. And we're going to make our player so, so tiny in the game. But it's not, it's going to look, it's going to look bigger because the map is going to be bit big. So just grow it to the size of the screen and then convert to bit oops. Okay. And then you're gonna actually want to make it the screen size. 
and you want to be able to see the background. Okay, the border, I mean. So it's going to be about this big. And you're just going to put that in the middle. So this is not going to be a scrolling game. Um, it's just going to be your character moving around and other players coming in whenever they want. And it won't look like this. There will be an actually blue background. So it's like going to be, it's like not that color blue. It's going to be dark water blue. So you're going to do that and then do back. So it goes like that. And then you're going to, if this is going to be the costume map. Okay, map. Okay, we're going to hide it for now. So when this right is clicked, broadcast start. Start game. Okay, so we're going to click on this guy. When I receive start. Okay, so hide. Show when play click show. I mean hide. Okay, watch. It goes into the map. And I'm going to add these later. I do not know how to make it multiplayer. Well, I actually do, but not quadruple player. But I actually I think I can. I'll teach you guys that in part bub boob lock. Okay, so then I'm gonna make a player in game. Player in oops in game. Okay. And then control A, control C, and then control V, and then you're gonna make this guy really small. Oh my. Too small, too small. Uh too small. I'm going to group this guy. Okay, so the characters are going to be this big. So I'm going to do default boy. Okay. Control A, Control C. Okay. Control A, Control C. Control C. Okay, Control A. Uh, Uh, and sinister or whatever you need for your third skin. You don't even have to have a third skin. Sinister. I'm just gonna name them sinister in game. So I'm gonna select this. Control C, hit Control V. I mean, click control. Me. Um, okay, so we're for the player in game. So on this guy, we're gonna do when play clicked forever, forever, not repeat or repeat until or wait until. Well, you probably wouldn't do that. Then three ifs or how many characters you have. So if you have four characters, do four. If you have two, um, do two of ifs and so on. And then you're going to make a variable character number. Oops. Or character name. I'm going to do character name. Okay, we're going to hide this one. So we're going to do an if character name equals boy. Wait. If costume number, costume name equals um, boy default, I'm gonna um, set character name to boy default. And then I'm actually gonna duplicate this. No, if, then get rid of that, equals, girl, So 
then we're gonna I'm gonna click control C while my thing is hovering. Oops, control V. There. And then if character name switch Switch costume to default girl in the game. Okay, then you're gonna do that. I'm just gonna pause this. Okay, so I've got that, and watch this. Oops. And then you're gonna do when play clicked, hide. And I receive start game. So then I'm just gonna duplicate this because it may randomly show if it glitches in the game. Start up. Watch. Now we have our game, and you want it to be, and in the switch random for the player, it has to be costume number one through two. So these are one through two. Whichever are your default skins, you do those. Um, let's say it's five and six. You do um, switch costume to pick random five through five to six. Okay. So I'm going to get the boy skin. Because I'm a boy, obviously. There. Then I'm going to do solos, trios, whatever. See? my That's the boy. And then I have the girl. Switches to the girl. Okay. And then I totally forgot. Wait, what? That is weird. Oh, he's in the back. Well, <laughs> I totally forgot about that. Okay, I'm gonna wait for it. So the girl. So the girl is gonna be smaller and sinister is gonna be really big. See, he's bigger than all of them. I'm gonna shrink them. Okay, he's right down. Okay. So now we have a functioning character. Um, switching costumes. Now we need to do, um, this is going to be more complicated than just when space key pressed, move up or something. It's not going to be that. It's going to be when play clicked forever. If, 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 and if. Okay, then we're going to do if key up arrow. If key down arrow. Okay, now you're going to put in, um, what? And the last thing you're going to do is, when play clicked, go to zero, zero for X and Y. See you later.